Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration reading for the Capricorns. This is the first week of September 2016 and this is the week of strength. The color is yellow and this is going to be a wonderful week for you Capricorns out there because the, um, the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. As we look at the energies for the week, it's going to be strengths, but it's going to be good because you're going to be victorious and successful over something that has been happening in your life and a block energies that has been in your life. Um, the chariot is here as the overall energies to move you out of it and you're going to be triumphant and successful. On Monday, we have the energies of the Wheel of Fortune, which is just so good. And if you were having a medical problem or something, you're going to feel much better in this week. Whatever you're starting is going to um, um, be for a very long time. So this is go just going to be wonderful. On Tuesday, you will get a message over something and it's going to be the end of a situa situation that has been going on in your life judgment and it's the end of the situation and you'll be moving out of this low energy um, vibration as we look at the middle of the week it's a wonderful week whatever you're doing as a woman you'll be victorious and successful over it if you are a man looking for a woman the um, energies in um, this week on Wednesday it's a good day it is also a powerful day for you Capricorns out there um, so you will expect to meet someone and this person will help you to move on in your life. As we look at Thursday, the sun comes out and you will be getting an, a message. And news is coming to you, which is wonderful news. On um, Friday, thank God it's Friday, the Eye Princess comes up to give you um, uh, optimism to, to let you know that it's going to be okay. And you have... Um, the energy vibration of the future is coming up and you will see that brand new things are coming in your life. On Saturday, the world energy is here. It's another wonderful day for you Capricorns out there. On Saturday, you'll realize that there is someone that has been um, stealing from you. And um, this can be um, people who are uh, either uh, stealing your creation or um, people who or dishonestly, um, whether in your house, they're stealing from you or at your work or from how to, but they're stealing. There is the energy vibration of people stealing from you. But this is going to come to an end. Whatever what, what was going on, this is going to come to an end. So whatever people were trying to do and you weren't aware of it, it's going to come to an end. On Sunday, the energy of uh, um, security. So it can be security, physical security for yourself, health energies, or fi a security in financial abundance around you. But financial security is going to, ha you're going to have a security of something because I know you Capricorns out there like security and you want to know that you're secured for now, but also for the future. And this energy is here. What I'm seeing here is that you will be connected to a group of people coming in to help you. So um, maybe you're going to get new work. This is the energy of new work because whenever your overall energy is going to be um, the um, energy of people connecting with you. This is very good because whatever was going on, you had strength and you fight and you're going to be victorious and triumphant over it. But yet still, this victory and triumphant is bringing in success to you. Another um, energy is good news coming in on Thursday, which is just so wonderful. And for the men who are looking for someone, open up yourself Wednesday, there is something. Tuesday, again, I'm saying that there is going to be an end coming to something that was not um, vibrating at the higher vibration level. And the universe come bringing judgment, bringing information to you, and an end is going to come to it. As we look at the energy for the overall week, it's going to be a positive week. It's going to be a week where um, either you're going to... Um, connect to people with work and stuff, but it's going to be a positive energy for the week and it's going to be beautiful no matter what is happening in your life. You're moving, that energy is moving away from you and there is positive energies, but also success, 
And if you're dealing with a business on Sunday, you're going to see really a difference, a change. And um, it's like it's it's coming to fruitation, but it's having stability. You're going to be connected with a group of people, and these people are going to bring you um, closer to um, what you were trying to manifest. And I want to say thank you for being here and hold on for the general energies. Okay, as we look at the week, this is the general energies for the week number 35, the five and that week of the year 2016. And we start off the week with the energy um, vibration card and it says your first chakra, Archangel Michael. Okay, I love these cards, but I, you know, there is just an unbalanced from to say what is your first chakra because actually um the first chakra is the hurt is your hurt start chakra and that's on the knee to your foot and that is governed door the angel of archangel shamuel but in this energy vibration the first she says the first chakra is archangel michael but you can use archangel michael or archangel shamuel whatever you feel balanced with but the first chakra and I think in this card, she's talking about your base chakra. And the base chakra is where um, your security, your materialistic needs, that is the chakra from your materialistic needs. So that is the survival chakra, your base chakra. And if you are having a situation with financial problems, with house situation, whatever situation, finding a job, whatever, um, having your needs met, this is your base chakra that is out of alignment and out of balance. And what you can do is said, I awaken my base chakra. I'm calling up an Archangel Gabriel to pray and um, the angels to pray over my base chakra. I'm asking to touch, open and align my base chakra. You can always call upon the universe if you don't believe in angels and guides call upon the universe and ask the universe to touch open and align your base chakra and ask them to make sure they sing over you so that your base chakra will always vibrate in a new and you need to also walk a lot of exercise is good for your um base chakra um for the first chakra for the people who vibrate in the um four and fifth um um, energy vibration, um, um, dimension, um, that is your first chakra. So, um, I understand why this energy comes up is because we are not balanced when we're not balanced, when we are not connected to the hurt energies, then we start floating and then, um, we're slipping in and out of different dimension at one time. So you have to, um, ask the universe to touch open and activate your soul star, your, um, your earth chakra okay so you're unbalanced with your earth chakra as we move on to the next energy the next energy i have here from the maps it says education and whenever this energy comes up and says education most of the time it is not saying that you need to really go and look for a study you need to start connecting to your spirit guide you need to start asking your yourself questions as if are they an angel are there spirit are there other beings who are here you know you need to start connecting with your mighty i am present call upon your mighty i am present you can always ask your mighty i am present to take you take over the day or help you throughout the day or you can call upon your mighty i am presence and said i need to know this information i need to know as this is correct or that is correct or i need to know who am i what is my blueprint where what direction sh i should take okay and for the people who um like are in schools and for these i um um energetic children these crystal children indigo children it is time that you start to connect with your higher self and all your guides and angels and universe just ask them um you are ready to connect uh, to find out okay it is more most of the time when um energy cards comes up with education all right as i look at the other energy the other energy is the lady of the light and the lady of the light bring surprising messages and surprising things for you i just love her because she's always bringing nice good gifts for you as we look at um 
there is a total par a paranormal shift going on. So all the people who were who were having it um, a hard time, it's now going to start clearing up. Okay. Um, as we look at the next energy, it says loyal heart. So this is just the energy of all those people who have been together through very, very hard time. All the girlfriends who have stick with the other girlfriends, all the husband and wife, all the boyfriends and girlfriends, all the friends who have stick together in a very hard time. This card is saying, I'm so grateful that you are there for me. So it's just like all my followers and all my um, subscribers who are always with me. Thank you. You are loyal arts. Thank you. And I want to say thank you for this wonderful week. And I will talk to you later. And namaste.